and girls, welcome back to the Steak and Brush. I'm Christine, and today I thought it was a good time for another episode of Beauty Basics. Um, with Beauty Basics, I just kind of go through what it says, the basic foundations of your makeup, and kind of give you a how-to guide, mostly for beginners. So today I thought we would talk about concealer. Um, as you can see here, I have lots and lots and lots of concealers. <laughs> I have tried all of these vigorously um, to see what works best for me. And not that any of these would necessarily work best for you. But uh, yeah, so let's get to the basics. What do we use concealer for? what it says. <laughs> We're concealing things, um, usually either blemishes or uh, darkness, specifically darkness under our eyes. Now there are other things that people use concealers for too that we'll talk about there. Now, um, so where do we start? Um, I personally do not use concealers for spot treatment. Um, mostly because I don't really get, I, you know, I, I get like a blemish oh, one or two a month. Um, so that's never really been a big thing for me. So I can't really address too much about that. Um, what I'm really going to focus on is concealing darkness under the eyes. So what kinds, there's all kinds of different concealers. I don't even have all of them, but we have, we have them with probably the most standard way you see them is in a tube like this with a doe foot applicator. Um, this one happens to be the Benefit Boing concealer. Um, some just come in these little tubes with nothing, just the, just the spout there. Um, I don't have any, but there are some that come in tubs where you, um, you know, just open them up and then the product is there. Um, there are some that come in sticks. And then what's becoming popular too are these sponge tip ones where you turn and the product comes up I don't particularly care for this kind of applicator because this gets very messy. Um, I haven't done this on this one because it's Charlotte Tilbury, but on these Maybelline ones, they have the same kind of applicator and I've actually just torn that sponge off <laughs> and use it without. There are many ways that you can apply the concealer. Um, you can use the doe foot applicator. You can put it on with your finger. Basically what you're doing concealer for is to cover any dark circles you have. Now this can be done in the way of color correcting, which is a whole different theory that we might get into in a separate video. But for this, we're just going to stick with concealers. So what under your eyes is a very delicate area and so you don't want to be putting lots of pressure here you don't want to do lots of rubbing lots of tugging you also do not want to be putting lots of product there solely because in these areas it really cakes up very easily so um that is really why, you know, back when I was, you know, first learning makeup, you put the concealer on first and then you put your mat or you put your uh, foundation on afterwards. Um, but now the trend has gone opposite where you put your foundation, but you leave um, like a ring around here that is empty so that you can put your uh, concealer in and there is, that's the only products so you're not getting a lot of cake up. So we'll take it from there. Um, there are a couple different ways people go about their concealer. 
um, if you were just doing it just to cover up those dark spots, um, I'll recommend this technique. Um, and you can use it with anything, with a doe foot, with you know, whatever product you feel works best. Lately, the Bye Bye Under Eye has worked best for me. I'm just going to take the tiniest amount. There. Just the tiniest amount to start off with. I might add more, but go in points, you know, and this will be different for everybody, but you want to hit the points where you have the most darkness. Uh, lots of people get the little you know, blue right there. So you want to hit that. You want to hit the edges and down where the center of your um, dark circles would be. And then just, whoops. And then just slowly and gently blend it in. This way we're using the least amount of product that we can. Most people have under eye lines. Concealers are, they're, they're not meant to cover those up. Um, what you want to do is just try to make sure your product is not making them look worse though. You want to make sure it's not settling into those lines. By just patting them out gently. Mm -hmm. And I still have a little bit right here that I would like to take care of, so I'm just going to add just the tiniest amount, and I'm going to go back into it. And again, no rubbing, no tugging. So it looks natural, not cakey. Um, again, we're never going to get rid of these lines, but we can, you know, hope to do a few things to blur them a little bit. Um, one of those things is setting it with powder. Now, if you use the wrong powder, it can make it worse. So you want to make sure you have a very, very finely milled powder. Um, this one is on the high end. It's the Pat McGrath. Um, I would either go in with a very soft brush or I use my uh, uh, Tati Beauty Beauty Blender here. Just dab. This happens to be a pretty good at blurring. And you don't want to use much because if you use a lot, again, it's going to it's going to cake up and make it look worse. Mm -hmm. um, there are also other powders you can use. If you're still having dark circles, you can use what they call a banana powder, which just means it's a yellow powder, something like this. Um, this goes more with like the color correction theory where um, you're canceling out the color with an opposite color. So that's where the banana powder comes in. But that is the one technique with using just the smallest amount of concealer to cover up the dark circles. Um, 
Again, like I said, I like the Bye Bye Under Eye. Um, it is very emollient. Um, it spreads really easily and it doesn't pill up or cake up. Another tactic that some people use is they use their concealer as a highlighter as well to bring more brightness to the face. Um, again, when you highlight something, it makes it lighter and it brings it out. So, you know, they want you want your cheekbones to stand out more, like a little bit your nose, your forehead, those kinds of areas. So, this is completely the opposite of this way where more is more. <laughs> I'm not really proficient with this, but we'll try it. Anyway. You'll see. Oh, okay. Don't put it right in your eye. That's not a good idea to do. Okay, but you'll see a lot of YouTubers, they do like this triangle kind of thing here. And then they'll go down the nose. upside down triangle there and then you can choose with any application of concealer you can use singers you can use a soft brush or you can use like a beauty blender that seems to work the best for me um, if I can get my mirror open a beauty blender seems to work the best for me on my face right at this point But if you can see, it's just bringing a little bit of brightness and contrast to my foundation. It's highlighting this area. My nose. Same thing. Now, under my eye, I still like to pat it in a bit with my fingers. This is not, you know, my particular way that I like to do my, <laughs> my concealer, but I just wanted to show you. And of course, when you do this, you want to make sure it's a shade lighter than what you normally would wear, or else what's the point? You're just putting more foundation-like, you know. <laughs> And if you can see the difference, this side's definitely lighter than that side. And I personally, again, this is a lot of, it's a lot of product. And the, of course, the older you get, the more issues you have with lines. So take it as you will but again I do want to go in and set this but I need a either a translucent or a lighter powder and go back in with the other side of my Tati blender here I'm just going in with this peach blur it's a translucent powder so it will not affect the coloring you don't necessarily need to set, it kind of just depends on what you use in your skin type, whether or not you need to set the other areas of your skin. Um, I don't feel the need to, but there's that. Um, what other questions do you guys have about concealers? Uh, what are your favorite ones to use? Right now, like I said, the Bye Bye Under Eye is my favorite. Um, I do like during the winter months, I do like the Charlotte Tilbury and the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind because they're very, very creamy. Um, and I do tend to get a little drier during those times. Um, but during the, during the summer, last summer, I really liked the Benefit Boing Concealer. 
Um, and this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. It's okay for me, not one of my favorites, but you know, it works. All right, let me know, do you have any other good tips about concealer? Do you have uh, any questions? Let me know, uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.